Okay, hi guys, how are you? Today is May 3rd. Uh, our class today, if we are able to finish, you will finish. About the electric force, electric port, electric potential. Last time, I explained for you guys, I explained for you how to find the electric field and the voltage and or with the potential. Today, and I, I do this class in a different way than the others because I believe if we start with the electric field it's going to be more or better for the kids to understand the concept of the force and the work of the electric field for point charges. Especially uh, the students already knows what the meaning of the electric field. Okay, let us start. Okay. Just a quick, a quick memory. Our class is electric force. Electric work. Force. Electric force. Now, why electric force? Just I'm going to refresh your memory with the electric field lines. Electric field lines. Electric field lines. We said for any charge, there is an electric field line. If you come close from these guys, you see for the positive charge, the line goes out. Now, this point charge. The number of the electric field lines increasing depending on the magnitude of the charge. With the charge increasing, you will see more lines goes out of the, this charge. Then this charge is Q, has a magnitude of Q, and has a line here. Make believe suddenly a charge comes and want this charge wants to sit here. And you make believe you're sitting in the place and you're enjoying, you relax, and suddenly somebody comes next to you that can shock you. What's going on? Anyhow, you have to take a permission, you have driver coming. This charge is a Q. And we know here there's an electric field pointing this way, right? Which is clear from the red. Why pointing this way? Because if you remember, I told you to find the electric field at any point, you have to assume there is a charge positive one. Then this positive and this positive this is going to point to the right. Now, instead of one, we're going to have a, a charge Q comes and sit here. What's going to happen with this, this charge? This is plus. If this guy is a plus, we'll walk, go to a the other way, repulsive, repulsive force. Re they, repel, they repel each other. They repel each other. Each other, right? If they are positive, if they same sign, same what? Sign. But if they are different sign, they will what? Attract. We call it attractive force. Attract each other. Okay, then each other. Okay. Now, then we agree that electric field lines, if you come in this field, you're going to get affected. Which is true. If anyone comes next to you, next to your place, you're going to get affected. That's your field. But the force, how I can calculate the force? Force on. Q. Force equal Q times the magnitude of the electric field. Since both electric field and force vectors, then the direction of the force will be the same as the direction of the electric field. If this guy go to the right, this guy go to the right. Now, 
and then decrease the term. Now let us remember e. How what e? Who remember the value of e? K q one over d square. D is the distance from here to here. D is the distance from this point to this point. Okay. Now since I have f, then f equal q k q1 over d squared. Let us put the q's together. k q q1 over d squared. Okay. Now, k, you know k is equal what? 9 times 10 to the 9 in Newton meter square over column square. Sometimes they will ask you, sometimes they will add the unit of this guy. Okay, that's easy and simple. Then the fourth. If the chart moves, I can calculate even the, the, I can calculate the acceleration or the velocity of the chart. If I know F equal MA, then I can what? Calculate how fast this chart. This we'll discuss in more detail in the uniform electric field. Example. Let us take this example. I'm going to go to this example. Easy one. There is a chart here. Q1 equal negative 6 micro column. And here, Q2 negative 8 micro column. And the distance between them, uh, 12 centimeters. Find the force, force on Q1. And the Q1, this negative, now he wants here. Right? This negative and this, this repulsive. Then the force from 2 on 1. This is the force that charge 2 on 1. Okay. Which is F21 K Q2 Q1 over D square. 9 times 10 to the 9 times Q1. Now, micro column, remember, if you are the first time you watching this video, Micro column is 10 to the negative 6. If this is your first time. 9 times 10 to the 9. And the two charges. No, disregard the negatives. You don't use the negative. 6 times 10 to the negative 6. And the other one. Negative 8. Times 10 to the negative 6 over d squared, which is 12 times 2 negative 2 squared. Now, equal. Now look here. As I told you, this negative 6. This is negative. Let me just why this. This is negative 6. Right? And this is 9. And 9 times 6, use calculator. There is no negative sign needed. Do you see that? There is no negative sign needed for the force. 9 times 6. 9. 9 times 6 times 8 times 10 to the 9 minus 6. I'm going to put it here for your 9, minus 6, minus 6. Now here we have negative 4, right? Here we have negative 4. When you take it up, it becomes what? Plus 4. Now over 12 is square. This 12. Square 12 times 12. Look, leave it like this to simplify. Now let us simplify. 1 and here what? 2. And here. Uh, 
again you can simplify more you can use a calculator one and four I don't mind but I like to show you this is three this one and this one three three times one three times ten nine minus six three minus six negative it's one which is very good repulsive repulsive now I want to mention something you see this force here, you're going to have the same exact force in the other one, in the other guy here this guy here, he has, this is F this, this here, and this guy here we're going to have the same exact force F one and two. You see, and yeah, this one and two is going to be the same exact amount, but different direction. Okay. Uh, uh, we have time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, eleven. It's eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. Okay. Then I'm not, okay. Good. Then the same time. Okay. Now let us take another example. I have to take example, three minutes, I have three minutes, right? You said, right? Yeah. Okay. Let us take three charges. This two micro column, the three micro column, and this is negative six column. And this side is three, this four centimeter, centimeter. Okay. Let me just, okay, nine minus six minus, nine minus six, three minus six. Okay, we, I don't, ah, oh, okay, yes. Nine minus six, three, three minus six, negative three, one, okay. Now, if this is charge one, this is Q1, this is Q2, this is Q3. Fine. This is negative, right? Fine. F on Q1. The first step I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to see how this for this plus, this negative, right? This guy going to move. This guy going to move to where? This way. You see, this is F, let us call it F F three on two on two. You see the direction? Because this negative and this positive. The same thing. This guy will go up, you see there? Then the first step is to, to see the direction of the force at the point where you want the force. Which one this which one? F2 and 1. F2 on 1. Then I have two forces here, here, and with an angle 90 degree. In the side, I have to find these two forces. F3, 2, equal K, Q3, Q2, over the distance between 3 and 2, which is 3 times negative 2 squared, which is equal 9, 10 to the 9. Now use your calculator. 3 Q, Q3 is 3 times 10 to the negative 6. Three times 10 to the 
So we're gonna make it through six. Time. Six time negative ten to the six. Six times ten to the negative six. And the distance between them okay is I have to finish this problem. Three times ten to the negative two square. Now if you complete this one, 9 times 6, 54, 54 times 3, 162 over 9 times 10 to the 9 minus 6, minus 6, and this guy becomes a plus 4. 162 over 9 is 18, I think, right? This 18 times 10 to the 1, which is 180 in Newton. The same thing we're going to do for what? F this, F32. We're going to do the same thing for F21. F2, the same formula, K, Q1, Q2, over D squared, K9 times 10 to the 9, right? Right? Time Q1, 6 times 10. You see, disregard the negative sign when you complete. Disregard the negative sign, 2. Time 10 to the negative 6. And the distance between them, 4 times 10 to the negative 2 squared. Now, now, 9 times 6. 54, right? Time 2, time 10 to the negative 9, minus 6, minus 6 plus 4. Why plus 4? Negative 2 and negative 2. Over 16. Over what? 16. Simplify. 16 to the right? Divide by 4 is 4. This guy divide by 4, how much? Divide by 4, this is going to be, okay, divide by 2. 8, and this divide by 2 is 27, this divide by 2 is 1, this divide by 2 is 4, and this 27 over 4 times 10 to the 1, which is 270 over 4, 270 over 4, 270 divided by 4, 67.5 Newton. 67. 67.5 Newton. Now let us back. We have two forces, and the two forces like this. One. One of them up, and the other one this way, right? This here, and this is bigger a little bit, right? That one 80. I should make this angle a little bit bigger. Okay, this 67 was okay. And this pointing this way, then then I have to graph like this and like this, and I have to get my resultant, which is this one, which is pointing this way. Now, the, how I calculated since the angle is ninety. Then I'm going to do R, F, resultant, because the angle 90 square root of F1, F21, and F32. F21, F2, F2 on 1, F3 on 1, 3 on one. Three on one. 
of 3 and 1. Okay. We have one of them, 180 Newton and 67.5. F3 and 1 F2 and 1 square 180 square plus 67.5 square Guy, uh, I'm going to finish this problem for you next time and show you how to find the direction and solve more problems and keep going with you. Thank you and have a nice day.